All right, his next uh, kind of mini tactic yeah. here is what he calls these is sticks and stones, yeah. right? So this is where you pick <clears> up the stone, and when the unbeliever says, yeah. no, I don't believe in God, you throw it at him, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah, no, yeah, right. This is an ancient baseball, right? We, <laughs> they're throwing stones, and you're trying to hit it with right. a stick. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, so he tells us that my mom used to say, so his mom used to tell him, sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never hurt you, right? So that's, you know, if you think about that, most most moms would have, would have said that, yeah. right? <laughs> I, I think that's uh, on agreeing to uh, uh, start your own Twitter or YouTube page. <laughs> yes, that, right. that, 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 now remember. Sticks and stones. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he says it's a clever aphorism uh, encouraging us uh, to brush off foolish people, right? And, and ignore their empty insults and move on. And that's usually a good advice, he tells us, right? Uh, and it's entirely accurate, though he says, uh, uh, it, uh, actually he says it's not entirely ac accurate, right? Why? Well, because first, names can hurt you. They can hurt you emotionally, right? Uh, so, you know, when we try to dismiss the slight, we can have, that's that's an emotional hurt. So that's a... So, yeah, in a, in a way, they can hurt you, right? And secondly, when it comes to thinking carefully about uh, weighty matters, name-calling can distract us, and it can be a nuisance, right? right? It gets, gets us off course, right? And so uh, so that's not, so it's not exactly accurate to say that, it, that they don't hurt. They mm -hmm. can hurt you uh, personally. They can hurt the conversation by getting us off course, right? Yeah. And so he says if we want to stay on target in an important discussion, we need to take action right. when these types of things happen. And so right? I think the key there is if you want it to continue. Because right. if someone's just going to name call and that's that's their big thing, is it really that much of a value to have a conversation with them? Right, right. Yeah. He says, and so and this taking action then is where uh, the sticks and stone tactics comes in. Now, we don't pick up sticks and stones, right? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. hold on. You know, he says, this one is like the steamroller tactic that we saw earlier, right? right? This yeah. is a defensive tactic, right? It's a maneuver to protect you from a certain type of uh, ad hominem attack, which is name calling, right? So that's what this one is all about. Here's how it works. Whenever anyone tries to deflect your point by labeling you with a nasty name, you know, like bigot or homophobe or Islamophobe or racist or whatever, ask for a definition. Right? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, we've seen this before, right? Yeah. He says the rhetorical force of these words is often, this name calling words is often so powerful that you will have a hard time overcoming them unless you flesh out uh, their meanings and put them in the open. Right. Let's get our cards on the table. So what do you mean by that? Right. Pejorative labels succeed at marginalizing you because of their ambiguity. Yeah. Right. Where they can have many meanings. And so we need to make sure that we nail something down with this yeah. person when they call us a name. Right. What do you mean by that? Or what 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 is that to you? How are you using that word? Mm -hmm. Right. And we definitely see this with uh, when we have conversations about, well, you know, I, I don't agree with. Uh, homosexual marriage because, you know, that's not uh, how God set it up and I'm Christian and therefore I go by what Christ's definition is. Well, you're just being a homophobe. Well, phobia is a fear of. I'm, I don't fear homosexual. Yeah, so what do you mean, yeah, what do you mean by homophobe? Yeah. Can, yeah. Can, can you explain what that means, yeah. just being a, against something? So are you a Christophobe <laughs> by being, uh, you know, a fearful of Christians and, um, you know, uh, 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 sp speaking out against uh, uh Islam is. Does that make you an uh, Islamophobe, or are you just being critical of a, a worldview or a, yeah. a, 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 a religion? Yeah, a religion. Yeah. yeah, good. So, so these labels can can kind of marginalize you because they're ambiguous, and so you don't know where they're coming from. So we need to find out exactly what they're talking about. Right. Plus, the person using them uh, has definitely <laughs> noticed this. Change the subject. So right. you were talking about one thing, and now they've changed the subject, right? From the issue at hand to a question of uh, your character, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? which is, quite frankly, irrelevant to the discussion, right? And so we shouldn't fall for, for this, you know, uh, sticks and stones uh, or this name-calling type of thing, yeah. right? And so he says that there are two advantages of, of asking for a definition. First... It stops the momentum of the illicit attack and puts you back in the driver's seat, right? So, you know, you, you, uh, you say, wait, 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 wait. So what do, you, what do you mean by that? Well, give me a definition of, of that particular term, right? 
And so now they have to stop, they have to think, and you're back in the driver's seat. Hopefully. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then secondly, it forces a person to think about what he just did, right? Hopefully. And, yeah. <laughs> Shame on them, actually, right? right? Yeah. So once he spells out what he means, ask him why uh, his definition applies to yeah. you. Why, why do you think that definition applies right. to, to me, right? And, and then ask why he thinks it's helpful to impinge your character instead of showing, you know, where your idea went wrong. Right, that we're talking about this idea, and all of a sudden now, you know, you're talking about me. Mm -hmm. Ridicule obviously is not an argument, to, after all, and so your question could help uh, take some of the edge off of the attack. Right, so um, make sure that uh, though that you know, again, you know, when a person name calls, it's uh, it's usually an act of hostility, and so uh, we need to be sure that we're gracious and calm. When, when we ask him for a definition and then offer our follow-up questions like, you know, your questions could help take some of the edge off the attack. So, you know, what, what, what do you think made you, why do you think I'm like that mm -hmm. kind of thing, right? And how, what does that have to do with <laughs> right. our discussion? Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. We're talking about the transmission of the gospel. I don't know. <laughs> no. It makes me an idiot. <laughs> All right. So he says, most people don't realize that they've made a false move when they revert to personal smears. Uh, they, they've been so thoroughly socialized to use this approach that they right. don't realize that it's both intellectually unsound yeah. and it's also bad manners. Right? Right. I mean, they're, they're it's very using, rude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so you kind of nail them on it. You do it nicely. You get them to stop in their tracks. You get them to think about what they're doing. And you help them to see that, first of all, it's, uh, you know, okay, if you really think I'm like that, okay, that's fine. But what does that have to do with our discussion? Right. Right. Yeah. That's that's the thing that we need to, to, to get back to. Yeah. Right. And two, this also applies to Christians. This yeah. is something that we need to look at and we need to say, um, apply some, some sort of rule that may be golden to us and say, <laughs> you know, is this how we want to be treated? Well, those, those heathen atheists are just, you know, uh, uh, eating dirt and they don't know, uh, you know, one way from up and they're just a, a whole bunch of dummies and uh, they, they hate God. And so it drives them to pure madness and just, you know, whatever, whatever mean things we can come up with. Mm -hmm. And so we need to realize that that's probably not the best thing to do in conversation. Right. Right. You know, especially, hopefully this person that you're conversating with, probably not online <laughs> <laughs> and probably someone that you enjoy. Yeah. And so sometimes the, well, that's just homophobic if you're against homosexual marriage. Well, are you saying that because you think I'm homophobic or are you saying that because you've kind of heard that response from people that respond to people who uh, uh, talk about uh, homosexual marriage? Yeah. And then what do you mean by homophobic? Right. right. So it could be it could be a legitimate, uh, you know, I'm, I, I wasn't really thinking of what that meant. I've I've heard this in the past. Well, aren't you just being homophobic to to gay people? Oh, I wasn't saying you were homophobic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. OK. Jesus was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so also a really good point for for Christians. So to remember yeah. uh, gen gentleness, meekness, love. Yeah. That's, that's what we want to bring. Right. Uh, when, when they go low, we go high. Or so <laughs> name calling the sticks and stones, we say, hey, what's your definition? And we could because really they've gotten off the subject. Right. Right. And we need to steer them back. And so we halt them in their tracks mm -hmm. by asking them, what do they mean by that? And then, you know, tell them that, OK, that's fine. But that's not what we're talking about. Right. 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 Now. We're not politicians here. <laughs> we're, we're talking about important things. Yeah. <laughs>